Hi everybody, welcome back to Pixar, <laughs> Pixar Cars Customs. Um, if you're a first time visitor here, we make custom cars made out of Pixar. This is actually next gen Mater, see? Based on, there's the old Mater and there's young Mater. You probably saw the video. And this is a custom carbon fiber McQueen. Now somebody's been asking me to make inverse lightning McQueen and I have no idea what that means. So I kept asking, what do you want inverse lightning McQueen? And he said, just the opposite colors. Now, what I have here is a bunch of Lightning McQueens. Oh, what do I have here? Next Gen Shutoroki based on Jackson Storm. That came really good. And of course, don't forget this tractor. This is a red racing tractor in honor of Lightning McQueen. Pretty cool. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I have an old Lightning McQueen and it's Candy Cane McQueen. What I'm gonna do is, using this car as a template, I'm going to paint this car all gold with red stripes on it instead of red with gold. How's that sound? I'm not, I can't make the opposite of this. This is Precision McQueen here. Look, this hood actually opens up and everything. Watch. You probably never saw that. Watch. There's Precision Lightning McQueen. And I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to take this car here, primer gray, then paint it two coats of gold and put red stripes on it and call it Inverse Lightning McQueen. That's all I'm going to do today. So let's get organized, put our paint out, and put the first coat of primer gray on. Okay, I'm going to do the whole car in gray tires and wheels and everything and then we're gonna do the opposite okay so lots of gray here now if you saw me do lots of primer cars this is gonna be the weirdest one because I'm gonna do tires and wheels and everything okay all gray and then I'm gonna come back and put the gold on it and then I'll figure out what to do with the tires and wheels when I look at the other cars okay make the opposite looks like I'm gonna do red tires and black wheels that's gonna be the inverse now this guy was very adamant he wanted inverse lightning McQueen I have no idea what that is so the primer is gonna cover everything up and when I come back, I'll have a base, something to work with, just a one color, gray, the whole thing. And then even the eyes, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with the eyes yet, so I'll cover that up. Probably gonna make them, the, I might make them the same because it can't be too much, it can't be too crazy. Let's see, I gotta get this, pick it up. I'm gonna be hard to do the whole thing. I'll stay on there, okay. And once this dries, it won't be very long, I'll come down, like I said, and put the, Maybe put two coats of gold on, because I want it to look decent. So it's gonna be, might even be a collector, who knows. Some collectors wanna keep it. I might even sell it on eBay, who knows. I didn't have much luck with the other ones on eBay, so if you're interested, let me know in the private message and I can sell it to you somehow, send it to you. But you'd have to bid a lot of money for these customs. I don't give them up easily. I have most of them and then I repaint them all because it works out better, there. We have now primer. Lightning McQueen, completely gray. I'll come back later and we'll put the gold on it and we'll see how it looks. It's just the first, it's gonna be a long video so hope you stick around. There, primer, Lightning McQueen, using the Rusties as a template. Okay, that took a little while. Everything's dried now. You can still see some of the candy cane underneath it. That's why I put the primer on to try and hide that. So now I have some special gold paint here. I never heard the, never, I rarely use it. And I shook it up, should be ready to go. I'm gonna put two coats, wait, I can't see it. There's go. There it is, okay. Two coats of nice gold paint on it. Seems to have plugged up on me right there, okay. There, gonna need lots of it, that's for sure. Okay, now, I get a nice close up. I'm gonna paint the whole car nice gold here goes possibly two coats because this is inverse lightning McQueen. oh yeah definitely two coats inverse mclean means uh the opposite colors that's what he told me so instead of having uh red with gold stripes it's gonna be gold with red stripes got a good blob there okay it's gonna come pretty good i'm gonna make it look pretty good too i'm gonna do the windows black or should i do the windows white because it's inverse yeah i have to think about that now do the windows white and the windshield black. Ah, it's gonna be all screwed up. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Inverse McQueen sounds really weird. But um, we're gonna do it anyway, because he kept asking me for it. Somebody keeps asking you to make another few cars too. But I can't remember them right now, because I'm kind of distracted here. The tires are going to be red on the outside with black wheels. That's gonna be easy to do. Definitely need two coats. I might just come back. Ah, oh, stupid, I covered the windshield too. I'll do that anyway in black. Okay. Doesn't matter, with the whole car in gold, Blob here. Ain't got a blob in it, no problem. I'm gonna pick it up by the wheels now so I can do the rest of it. Thanks again everybody for joining in to the premiere. If you're watching the premiere, I don't know what time of day or what day it's gonna be, but it's 
going on pretty good. So there's the first coat. That's not bad. I'll come back and maybe go online and put the second coat. I'm not sure yet. I might show you the second coat. Why not? It looks pretty good. Definitely needs a second coat. It's just not covering it good enough. But um, we'll come back in a few minutes. When this is dry, I put the heat lamp on to dry it. And we'll check it out. Okay, see how it looks in a few minutes. There's the other one, and there's gold. Okay, the first coat is pretty dry now. You can probably hear the dog upstairs barking and playing with a ball. I put the second one on right now. Nice and gold there, the paint's there. Okay, here goes the second coat on Inverse Lightning McQueen. Now, this should go on a lot better than it is. You can see the difference it makes the second coat. Don't mind the tires, I'm painting them white. And the wheels are going, no, the tires are going to be red, and the wheels are going to. The wheels inside are going to be black. It's going to be the opposite. This guy wanted Inverse McQueen. He's going to get Inverse McQueen. And to be honest with you, I had no idea what he meant first, like I said earlier. But it just everything the opposite. So I said, okay, I'll make everything the opposite. See what happens. So I'll do my best. Oops, dropped right into the paint. Anyway, thanks again, guys, for dropping in to see the video. If this is your first time here, we made several hundred of these Pixar card customs. People send me suggestions all the time. And I do my best to try and make them as I can. Some of them I can't do. Some of them they don't seem to have any value. Uh, even this one here, Inverse McQueen, might not get many views because uh, it's not a race car. It's just a, a concept of a, of a car, Inverse McQueen. I don't know where the guy got the idea from. I never made an Inverse car before, so probably won't get many views unless you want to watch the video. And the video is going to be quite long because it requires a lot of work to do everything opposite there. That's the second coat. Beautiful gold. Now, I'm going to zoom out and show you how good this looks. That came really nice. Okay, so let's just leave that there until it dries. When I come back, I'll start doing uh, the tires and wheels probably and the windshield. Okay, and the wheels. And then and the, and the side windows. Okay, this car is all gold now. That's the inverse of red. And since the wheels on this car are red and the tires are black. I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm making the wheels black and the tires red. So I'm gonna do the wheels first. The wheels are gonna be black. Okay, this is gonna be different. Um, but it's gonna look pretty good. And I'll hold this pretty. And I might do the windshield black too, because the windshield on regular lightning is white. So that means the inverse would have to be black. Oops. Okay. Here it goes. What do you think so far? Do you have any connect? Have any? Uh, have any complaints so far about what I'm doing wrong here? Just let me know in the comment section. Okay, I'll clean that off there. Good. Okay, the wheels are going pretty good. I gotta admit, the windshield might be harder. I'll have to try a little harder there. Okay, there. I'm really happy with the black wheels. Uh, now the windshield is going to be black, so that's gonna be a little weird, uh, but I'll have to give it a try because I said I'd do it. Okay, so it's comparing it to this one here. It's like um, I have to make a kind of like a down to the, to the middle of his eyes and it's flat across the bottom. I never had this is a different combination of colors for me um, um, so I hope whoever suggested inverse is happy with what I'm doing here. Okay here goes looks like a mask he's got on now. Okay a little more. Pretty weird black windshield but it is the opposite. Okay, I guess that's pretty good for the windshield. Um, now, um, the funny thing is, the windows are going to have to be white because they're black on the regular McQueen, so I'll have to do the windows in white. Okay, so there, that's pretty good. Compare that. Look, see? Okay, now let's get the white paint out and do the windows in white. This white paint is really thin, runny, so I have to be careful with it. Here it goes. Try and get it perfect the first try. I don't have to do any more touch-ups because it's going to put the gold paint away. So there's the one window white. That's pretty good. And the other one for inverse McQueen. This is, a, like I said, a long video, guys. So I hope you're sticking around. Um, you don't have to watch it, of course. You can skip to the end. But I'd rather you stay with the, the whole thing because it took a long time. This video is taking hours to make, if you're wondering. Yeah, a lot of time to make these videos. Okay, now I'll go back to this side. I made a little mistake there. Make a little bit bigger window in the back. 
I missed the part here. I'm just going to forget the part on the back um, because I don't know if I can get that white in there very easily. I'll try it because they were black as well. On the other one, probably going to be okay. I may have to touch that up with the gold in a few minutes. Okay, there's the windows. And now I'm going to do the tires. Okay, I have some red paint already right there. Watch. For the tires, I'm going to try and do that. Really cool. I can't spin it because i got to hold the car with two hands. I'm going to try and just go around a little at a time. There, I sped that up for you, so hopefully a bit better. I also discovered that his smile is white, so that means Lightning McQueen smile have to be black. The opposite of white is black, I presume. Okay, let's hold that up in the air and put a nice big... Well, I don't want to put a frown on it, because that's the opposite of... But that's not inverse. That's inverse emotion. So I'm just going to leave a big black smile. And its headlights are gray, so I think the gray would be kind of white. I guess the opposite. So there's a good smile. What color would I make his headlights? They were gray, so I'm just gonna go with red headlights just to be, because they look so cool. Okay. There, now I'll come back in a few minutes, put the eyes on when that gets dry so I don't make a mess. Okay, we're all back, it's pretty dry. Um, the eyes, uh, look at black and blue, so I'm gonna put white eyes and maybe um, I don't know what color green for the eyes. I'm not quite sure and then I'm going to put um, Some red stripes on the side just like that if I can and 95 in red it's gonna be the opposite see okay We'll see how that looks and rusties. I'll write across the hood in red. Okay, let's do um, the eyes first in white Okay, where my white paint goes right here. Oh finger in it. Okay, here goes. Oh, that's red. Here's the white here. Okay, you're gonna big white eyes first. Try to get nice and big. It's the opposite of the black. Okay, and then I'll come back and put the, the green and blue. I'm not quite sure yet what color to put there. This came pretty good, and then um, I had to get the red. Where is it? Okay, there's the red. It's kind of blistered over a little bit. I'm gonna write rust ease on the hood right here. Okay, here goes. You ready? I'm gonna zoom in so you can see close. Rust ease, just like on that one. And 95 on the hood. On the roof, I mean, sorry. We'll do the inverse number because that would be, that wouldn't make any sense. And a racing stripe on the side, similar to that. The whole back. Oops, right down to the a, a zigzag. The lightning bolt. Okay, that came pretty good actually. Okay, and now the other side. Everything's looking good, actually. Okay, and I'm going to put 95 right here. Okay, and 95 on the other side. And eyes. What do I use for eyes? What if I just use red eyes? Pretty cool. And I think that's going to be the end for Inverse the Lightning McQueen. Let's zoom out and get some close ups and see how it looks. Okay, there is Rusty's Lightning McQueen, and here is my version of Inverse Lightning McQueen. 
let me tell let me know what you think in the comment section for this vehicle because that guy requested it so, so many times I finally made it and keep sending your comments and suggestions in if I can figure out how to do it I'll do it I'm not sure I'm gonna leave that that color I may come back later and paint it all primer gray again um, give me a comment give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and um, we'll see how we do thanks for watching everyone I hope you liked this video today it's pretty long I realize that and um, maybe we'll do something else next week who knows oh look I still have primer rack it's not done yet so send me suggestions for primer rack